Good evening, my dear things. I hope you all are doing incredibly well. Welcome back, or welcome to my Cavern of Secrets. I'm Kasara, and tonight's movie review is The Void. It's available to stream on Peacock, Hoopla, Tubi, Redbox, Crackle, Shutter, and Freebie. Uh, Freebie. Wow. If you have any of those, um, I know some of them you're going to have to watch ads in between, but that's okay. It's not too bad. I know, because I've actually watched stuff on those sites where they actually give you ads in between the movies. Anyways, if you're a fan of Lovecraftian horror, you'll like this one. The film is about an officer out in the middle of a routine patrol when he happens upon a blood-soaked figure limping down a deserted stretch of road. Yeah, that doesn't scream something's off. Officer Daniel Carter rushes the young man to a nearby rural hospital staffed by a skeleton crew, only to discover that the patients and personnel are transforming into terrifying, tentacled monsters. As the horror intensifies, Officer Carter leads the other survivors on a hellish voyage into the subterranean depths of the hospital in a desperate attempt to end the nightmare before it's too late. Since the, uh, since the film was released in 2016, I'm going to get into spoilers. I thought the opening was incredible because I had no idea what was going on until later on in the film. The hospital being surrounded by hooded cult members, as you can see behind me, and creatures emerging within the hospital set the characters up for a no escape and a no win situation. The scene that got to me was when the deputy sheriff Daniel finds his wife in the basement of the hospital surrounded by something kind of like spider silk but thicker and darker and kind of icky looking. <laughs> it's like the best way I can describe it. Uh, we're told that they recently lost a child and now Daniel's wife Allison is giving birth to a grotesque monster. To top it all off, she seemed to have become under the doctor's control. It was heartbreaking to watch, although the ending seemed beautiful since Daniel is reunited with Allison, but they're both in a strange dimension. For those of you who have seen this, what were your thoughts? What did you think of the ending? I'll admit the ending kind of confused me a little bit because I wasn't sure how Allison was alive. I know it's another dimension, so it... I guess makes sense. If you have a movie you'd like me to watch or a game you'd recommend, let me know in the comments below. I'm always up for suggestions. To the new subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoy the content. Next week, I'll be playing Fear and reviewing the film The Dark and the Wicked, which is available to stream on Shutter, Hoopla, and AMC+. So if you have any of those, give it a watch. Or don't. It's up to you. <laughs> it's not a new movie, but it's not an old movie either. So there's that. And I don't really want to tell you anything about it because I might ruin it. So just go give it a watch. And you can tell me what you thought of it. And I'll tell you what I thought of it next week. <laughs> uh, anyways, have a great weekend and take care until next time. Good night, everybody.